Hi lovely people, very happy to be here. Welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, I have a YouTube of the crack and like an old subscriber. Thank you so much for the support. Do also join this family by subscribing to this channel and sharing my friends and family. to run to a YouTube channel right now and subscribe then come back okay I'm going to serve myself so by the time you come back I would have served myself and would be ready to eat So I'm going to have something from my local dialect, which is KK. It is normally called Dokuno. Um, Dokuno is actually um, kind of like an African food, purposely and locally from my hometown, the central region. And she has... Okay, so if you know any action, you know the dye or the leaf for food. Fufu in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. But I don't like fufu. Yeah, yes. normally in Ghana, in African home, if you don't like eating fufu, it means that you just don't like pounding. It comes with a lot of work, and I seriously do not enjoy fufu. I don't know why. I'm going to take rice home. Today I'm going to eat mine with some encasing coin. with chicken wings. And So I'm going to have some eggs, I'm going to have some sausage, I'm just going, I'm also going to have some sardine, which is a canned fish, and I have some shito here, and I also have my chopped onions with my green pepper, and then the almighty hot pepper. This is actually hot pepper. We also have uh, Coca-Cola here, and then we have some what is social media in general? According to Google, refers to websites and applications that enable users to create and share content or to participate in social networking. Some of the really vibrant social media applications that Ghanaians indulge in will be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, WhatsApp. Snapchat, Pinterest, and of course YouTube. And TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. To me and my understanding, I feel like social media is just a normal platform which is actually accessible by every individual. If only the person can write, the person can read. If you can open a Google account or have an email, you can easily have a social media account. Being it on Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, as simple as that. We want to know which um, social media are you more punctual at? Like, you know, there are some people who like, like Instagram. Which one, which one do you like? YouTube. YouTube. Then I think 
their most used is water. Because mm. literally everybody has water. If you don't have water, I don't know where you are. You are in a different world. Yeah, but everybody and no one is left out. The young, the old. My mother is on WhatsApp and she will send you and she keeps taking. Really? Yeah, like sometimes it baffles me, but it shows that now social media is a part of life. Yeah, because I think even the young kids, as young as like eight, seven, five, five, they even want to be on social media. Yeah. Because of this lockdown, social media has become something so normal and so easy. Even though social media was so normal and easy for everybody to use, kind of like years ago, but because of this lockdown, now it is acceptable. Because one of the days when we were in secondary school, were you allowed to use phone? You are not. Even as old as 15, 16, you are not allowed to use phone. But now because of lockdown, everyone see it's normal to allow their kids to use it. But yeah, because they are using it to learn, actually. It's not... You see, so that brings... It brings up a lot of other responsibilities because even though at one side they are using it to learn, the other side you have to monitor what they are using it for if they are not learning. Okay? Because a lot of them have classes online. Okay, so you cannot be around them to be open. Yeah. Zoom for Google meeting and all that. Yeah, things. but then it has also created a gap. Okay, so now you really need to pay attention and be sure whatever they are looking at or whatever they are saying. Yeah, so I think big shout out to um, Google for Google parents email accounts. Like you if you're a parent and you want to because of this virtual learning, you have to open an account that is monitored, uh, monitored by a parent so the child is not actually allowed to. Even with YouTube, the last time I wanted to access YouTube on my little nephew's tablet and I was told I'm not allowed to because before you can use it, your parents should give access to it. And because your parents' account is also connected to your own personal account, at some point, yeah, they doing. can see what you can do. I can stay in my house. I can monitor every work in my office because of Zoom and other, you know, communication tools that were popped up. Even though it's not like they were not there, they were there, but because we didn't see the essence of we not going to work but staying in the house. But now we have come to understand and believe that we can still stay in the house and still do whatever that we want to do. But. Let's talk about the effects of, of social media. And there's a lot of pressure that comes with social media, especially for a content creator. Okay. And there are two ways of seeing it. There's a negative way and a positive way. But for me, I learned a great deal from YouTube and even my corporate life. I still apply some of the things I learned. They might not be accurate, but then it does something. Okay, so for me, social media has been a good influence on me, positive influence. Now, it can be negative when you begin to compare yourself with others or believing everything you see out there. As a content creator, I think one of the number one negative vibe that we normally encounter is cyberbullying or internet bullying. Have you been bullied like cyberbullying before? No, not really. I, I think I have been bullied before because when I started YouTube like four years ago, I remember one time I posted something and somebody sent me somebody commented on my video that is this what you want people to subscribe to and then I told them that <laughs> that's so I, me yeah that, that was so me sometimes the, the comments that people post you can always see if it's constructive criticism right and then you take something out of it because you want people to follow whatever you are doing and so you should be able to listen to some of the things that you are saying. So sometimes yes. not all the negative comments sometimes, should affect you. Some, sometimes you just don't have to. Sometimes it's really the reality. Maybe yeah. it's, it's not good. I've had people 
comment on my video that your sounding is bad, blah 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 blah. And I go back and find ways to, to be better, to, to be better, better, okay? And what people do not know is creating content is very difficult, it's a tedious task, okay? The big it's YouTubers, very difficult, yes, guys. The big YouTubers, maybe they have their whole production team, someone yeah. who will take the video, someone, someone who will take the editing. But for people like us, we are doing everything, everything. by ourselves. Yeah. And we are learning as we go. So sometimes when you see some negative things, you should be mindful of how you yeah. put it so that you don't demotivate the person. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes it's not the, the, the way, it's not what you are saying, but, but the, the way, way you put it. Yes. Yeah. Because obviously we are not poor, so if you we are learning. About putting up top notch videos. <laughs> if we pray. Okay, so now we are going to eat so come. God pray. knows my heart. <laughs> well, to me, I think social media has actually helped me count less daily. Like, you know, I, I, I can't actually measure how helpful I have you know, social media has been to me. But as a student, you always do research on, though it might not be accurate as you said earlier on, but still you have a hint of what you really want. And as a content creator, I think. I have learned a lot because every niche that you want to be as a content creator there's obviously someone out there who has been there the next that i want to talk about is the knowledge that you get because most i, I can say that like 80 percent of content creators actually don't know how to even handle camera or edit or come out with an idea we all learned on social media and we are still learning and when it comes to um, my business aspect I run almost three businesses online so you always have to post content you have to edit you have to learn how to be consistent on social media and most of it people buy from my people people patronize my uh, products via Instagram and Facebook but you know the negative side of it I'm not saying that I can't contain negative vibe. I can't contain negative information. So if I'm, I'm 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 on social media and I see that I'm getting an information that I feel like is very negative and I can't stand it, I'll just go. So social media becomes very stressful for me. All right, guys. So I think the conversation has actually been intense. We've talked about social media when it comes to grown-ups. Is social media actually for children alone? Is social media for grown-ups alone or it is both sides? We also touched on the importance of the things we learn on social media, good things and bad things, the things that as a content creator you need to learn on social media. And we would like to know your opinion about how social media has affected you in any way, being it positive or negative. So um, I hope you enjoy watching this video as much as we enjoyed filming it and eating at the same time. I hope you've learned a, a thing or two from here. You can also share your thoughts with us by leaving a comment down below in the comment sections. And share the video with friends and family, okay? Just spread the love. So then, have a great week and see you.